بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اوكي وي ستاب ذا دي كومبوننت سبلتر اند وي سيف ذا دي فيد ستريم ويل ديفاين ات فروم ستريم نمبر 8 ويتش كونتينز ذا بنزين تولوين اند باي فينل بس وي نيد تو تشينج ذا تمبرشر تو اباوت 400 ديجريز فارنهايت اند اف يو نوتس ذا كومبوزيشن It contains benzene, toluene, and biphenyl. So now, what is in a shortcut distillation column? If we click on it, the connections are okay. There is the parameters tab. And there is the pressure in the condenser and the reboiler. I'm going to specify the pressures as an ideal Distillation unit, which means what the feed pressure is the same as the condenser and the reboiler pressure, although this is not strictly correct, but it does not affect the calculations that much. So I will specify it as 100 psi a and 100 psi. Now, what is the light key in the bottoms? The light key in the bottoms is going to be benzene. And the heavy key in the distillate is going to be toluene. Why is that? I would like to separate benzene on one side and toluene and biphenyl on the other side. I will set the separation to be rather easy to 0.01 and 0.01. Notice now what did Hysis do? Once I clicked the 0.01, Hysis gave me this value for the minimum reflux ratio, 1.256. The minimum reflux ratio is not the ratio that I'm looking at. I need the external reflux ratio. And if you remember your mass transfer uh, operations, the, you are given a rule of thumb that says the external reflux ratio is 1.5 times the minimum reflux ratio. Usually it has a range 1.2 to 2. For this case, I'm using 1.5. What is 1.5 times 1.25? 1.5, uh, 0.25, 0.12, it's about 1.8, correct? Once I click or enter the 1.8 reflux ratio as an external reflux ratio, the shortcut distillation unit is solved. Notice the color is changed, the streams at the outlet are calculated. If I would like to look at some calculations, Hysis did. Hysis gave me that the minimum number of trays is 14, while the actual number of trays, 27.328. Always take the fraction of a tray to the ceiling of that number. 27.3 becomes 28. And the feed tray is six, uh, eight, I'm sorry. The condenser temperature is 318 degrees Fahrenheit and the reboiler Temperature is about 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The rectifying the stripping section uh, liquid flow rates and the QC and QB values. If I would like to look at the streams, we can see that at the mass flow rate or the molar flow rate 225 at the feed, 170 out of them goes to stream 10 which is the distillate, and 56 only goes to stream 11, which is the bottom, this biphenyl and benzene. So, this should be enough for us to include now a cooler to cool that stream, stream 8. I remember the cooler does not require a utility side specification so the inlet is stream 8 and the outlet is stream 11 12 and it requires an energy stream and the convention is q e dash 101 q e dash 101 and once again, the pressure drop is zero, and I need to drop the temperature from 1323 to 400 
as exactly what we did in streamline here and once again I will use TFD auto position all now from stream 12 I'm going to feed it to a rigorous distillation column now since I have the specifications from the shortcut column so if we look at stream now the distillation column it allows us to have multiple inputs multiple outputs multiple side streams uh, and we need just one simple distillation column so we need to feed stream 12 to this distillation column and we need to use a total condenser usually partial condensers are to be used when we have non-condensable gases and this is not the case here so I will call the outlet for the distillate as 13 and the bottoms as 14 okay and I will call condenser energy stream QCT-101 and QB T-101 it's up to you you can call it whatever kind of name you would like to call it uh, in general now the number of trays from uh, the shortcut column is 28 trays and let me check the feed tray where the feed tray was located at if you go to the design parameters I'm sorry to the performance optimal feed tray is at tray 8 and the reflux ratio from the parameters is 1.8 those data we need to evaluate the rigorous column so instead of tray 18 we need to calculate uh, to feed our feed at tray 8 from the top now notice the expert of the distillation section enabled the next here before that it was not enabled you will not be able to move to the next page unless you provide what the connections you need the feed stream or streams you need the outlet streams for the distillate and bottoms at least or side streams or outlets uh, on the other side and you need to specify what type of condenser you need to specify the condenser duty and the reboiler duty streams so I will click next once again I'm going to use the, uh, the ideal distillation unit 100 PSIA and 100 PSIA it's the same as the feed stream this is an easy form optional condenser temperature estimate remember this is an estimate it's not really a value that Tysis needs but it makes a lot of sense to feed the value that you get from the shortcut column just to speed up the convergence our value was about 320 degrees Fahrenheit for the condenser and 600 degrees Fahrenheit for the reboiler now reflux ratio we got it from the shortcut distillation column to be 1.8 liquid rate this is a specification let me close it and just check the liquid rate in the distillate once again in the worksheet the molar flow rate in stream number 10 which is a distillate 168.4 you don't need to provide the exact value here but don't provide a value larger than the value that you get in the shortcut distillation column because you will never arrive at convergence usually in the rigorous column and if we tell how is done what happens is we get the whole form for the rigorous distillation column Re remember the rigorous distillation column is a monster it has a lot of inlet inputs and outputs those experts are designed to make your life easy but you can go and change whatever kind of properties that you would like and inputs for this column now once our values are uh, available we can tell how says run and notice in a matter of few seconds it is converged if you give him bad data 
it might not converge or it might be very slow to converge and in general we can look at the worksheet now and look at the values that we have here and we can look at the compositions and see what kind of separation do we get for example in stream 13 which is the distillate section we have 90 9.5 percent and this is 0.005 percent to which means what we almost got pure uh, benzene in this stream while in the bottom stream we got toluene and biphenyl now if you are smart enough a good chemical engineer you would like to do what to separate the biphenyl from toluene and recycle the toluene back to the process so i'm not going to deal with this this is just the introductory bar we can look at some values in uh, your column one of them is the performance tab and the plots in the plots we can look for example how does the composition varies with the tray location so if you notice how does benzene uh, varies with tray location uh, remember this is from the condenser down to the reboiler benzene is being enriched in the condenser section and depleted in the uh, reboiler section same thing uh, opposite thing happens to toluene this is one type of plot that you can get you can get also the k values what are the k values they are the distribution coefficients of each component in your system so if you notice benzene toluene and biphenyl hydrogen and methane only the benzene and toluene are shown in this figure evidently you can see the light and heavy keys happens to their mole fractions they are easily separated here now let's get back to the design remember when we gave him the liquid fluorate sometimes we don't have an idea about the distillate rate that we would like what do we have is a specification for mole fraction for example in the distillate or in the bottoms if we go to something we call specs, which is specification, stands for specifications in that distillation unit, we can see that we have four specifications which are displayed, but three of them are active. If you look at this button here, radio button, the reflux ratio is active, which means it's specified for this column. The distillate rate is active, the reflux rate is not active and the bottom's product rate is not active. So actually, we ha what we have is just two active specifications. They are the reflux ratio and the reflux rate, uh, distillate rate. What happens if we have a specification for mole fraction, for example, of benzene? We would like to, to have benzene of 99.5% in the distillate rather than the amount of distillate itself. What do we need to do to specify this simply we can add here there is an add specification there are many types of specifications in HISIS if you see all this list there are many types and subtypes what we need to is <coughs> for example I would like to have benzene at 99.5 percent purity in the distillate section in the distillate uh, stream so the proper specification is column component fraction component fraction if i want to specify rate or cut point or draw rate or duty or whatever i can specify it but now i need the component fraction 
Notice what's in a component fraction. It specifies this stage. Where do I want benzene with my specifications? Is it in the condenser down to the revolver passing through all stages? It's in the condenser stream, outlet condenser stream. It's a mole fraction, mass fraction, you can specify it. It's a mole fraction right now. It's in the liquid phase and the value now, I will feed it as 0.995. Now this is not enough, I need to specify which component this value refers to, it refers to benzene. Okay, now we are done here. Notice now our component fraction, HISIS by default does not assume that this specification is active. To make it active, what do I need to do is to check this radio button. If we check it out, notice now Heises is telling me the degrees of freedom is minus one. What does degrees of freedom minus one mean? That I have specified one more variable that I cannot specify and Heises cannot solve my system. So I need to make one specification inactive. What is the most proper specification? Is this illiterate? I don't know it uh, a priori. So I will make it inactive. I can go and look at spec summary and monitor the specification values. Evidently, this is a tough task for Hysis. What I can do is go back to my specs and relax it a little bit. So if I relax this to 0.992, for example, and run it again, notice it converged very quickly. Sometimes if you have Hysis having very slow convergence or no convergence at all, just check the values of your specifications. Most likely you will find something in there that you need to adjust or modify. This is the lesson that I would like you to know when dealing with that column. Now our flow sheet is ready just to auto position all once again. This is, okay. So we'll sub here, and inshallah Dr. Binos will talk about uh, advanced topics in uh, the distillation and the reaction sections and their reactors and their types and distillation columns and how to deal with them. I hope this is a basic introduction that was helpful and fruitful for all of you. Thank you.